I'm Steve Mumford. I'm the Assistant City Administrator and Community Development Director at Eagle Mountain City. I help uh, manage our planners, looking at long-term effects of, of uh, city growth. I manage our building inspectors and building department, our neighborhood improvement group. Development is happening every time you blink here in Eagle Mountain. Uh, we've experienced record growth for many years. Um, and so it will continue to grow. It's, it's the next available area um, along the Wasatch Front, right, that near the job centers that people are flocking to. We can't stop growth, um, but we can try to tame it and direct it in, in a better way. Well, first we would uh, start with a concept discussion. Um, just discuss it with staff. And really it's a check of, uh, of a few things. It's, okay, does this comply with your zoning? Does this comply with other aspects of the city code, uh, with our general plan for the future growth of the city? And then it's also a check of, uh, of us saying, wow, that project needs some help and here's what we suggest as professional planners to go back and do. And the second thing is working through the process, the actual application process. So they would submit an application for development. We take that through a staff level review and then um, multiple reviews. And once that's ready, it goes to our appointed planning commissioners and city council for approval. An example I would give is, uh, let's say a fast food restaurant wants to come in. If the zone allows for it, if it's a commercial zone and it allows for fast food restaurants, then it doesn't matter to us who it is. It does, I mean, we all care, but whether we like that business or not, that type of restaurant is irrelevant. If it's allowed in the zone, they're allowed to be there. And so then we have to look at uh, landscaping requirements, parking requirements, architectural requirements, for the look of the building um, and various things to that scale. Um, but it's not about whether we like the business or not, it's about are they allowed in that zone? If they are, do they comply with code? The development process is a, it's a long process from start to finish. If you see something, if a resident sees something happening next to their home or next to their neighborhood, a, a building starting uh, starting to go up, that building already has approvals, right? That development has uh, months of process that they've gone through already. And so let's, at that point, let's focus in on anything that could potentially negatively impact the neighbors, the residents. And we still have some opportunities to make a difference there, but very, very few at that point. If you are interested in what could happen near your property or somewhere else in the city, the answer is get involved early in the process. Talk to the planners, talk to city council and, or the mayor and find out what are the plans for that property next to my house um, and how can I get involved in helping to guide that to be something that, that works and fits in with my neighborhood.